Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about Poisson distribution or Poisson distribution. So what is Poisson distribution? So Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution. So whenever we say that the random variable x follows Poisson distribution, I will come to this what is lambda, P stands for Poisson. So when we say that x is following Poisson distribution, that means your x is a discrete random variable. Okay, now what is Poisson distribution? It gives you the probability of the event happening a certain number of times that means say k number of times within a given interval of time okay so it's the probability of an event that is happening certain number of times and in a given number of time or space so like for example like a traffic department police they want to see how i mean they want to predict that tomorrow from 9 to 10 am how many cars will be passing through a specific junction and so what data they have they know that on an average every day from 9 to 10 am on a working day like 1000 cars or vehicles passes through a specific junction and they want to see what is the probability that tomorrow from 9 to 10 uh, what is the probability that 1200 cars will pass through that junction so that is the question so in that scenario we will use Poisson distribution so here the interval of, interval of time is uh, 9 am to 10 am so that's one thing another way to say is it deals with the frequency so like number of times means what frequency this is also another definition people uses so Poisson distribution deals with the frequency with which an event occurs in a specific interval of time like if i want to take another example other than that of car like uh, now the cricket world cup is going to start in australia okay so like uh, icc knows that on an average in each match uh, a team hits around 14 sixes okay that's on an average number of sixes are being hit now we want to determine that in tomorrow's match what is the probability that the team will hit 17 sixes or what is the probability that the team will hit nine sixes then again Poisson distribution will help you what is the formula i will let you know okay and this is a third way another way so instead of probability of an event the Poisson distribution requires the knowing how often it occurs like i told you know on average 1000 vehicles are passing or on an average 14 sixes are being hit in a match okay so it requires knowing how often it occurs for a specific period of time or instance okay so this is what you mean by a Poisson distribution and if I want to briefly tell you in one line, it helps us to predict the number of events occurring in the future. That's what the job of a Poisson distribution is. Okay, so I hope this funders are clear. The question is, how do you calculate? So now when we say X is following Poisson distribution, that means this is the notation where lambda is the average or mean or the expected value of a random variable. So like in each of the example when I told you like car in that car wall example I told you that number of like for example on an average thousand vehicles are passing through that junction every day from 9 to 10 am for sixes I told you that suppose on an average in each match a team is hitting 14 sixes so like average is always given to you so that's why in a question whenever you see average is given then you try to think of Poisson distribution okay it can be solved by Poisson. Now this is a formula so probability that uh, x is taking the value k that means what is the probability that next day 1200 cars will pass through that junction or in the next match say 18 sixes will be hit so that is your k 18 or 1200 and so on it is given by lambda raised to k lambda is the average into e raised to minus lambda upon k factorial where what is e 2.718 that's the Euler's constant so using this formula you can tell what is the probability distribution and if someone asks you what is the cumulative so x is taking the value less equal k is nothing but summation lambda raised to i e raised to minus lambda upon i factorial where i is going from 0 to k that's your cumulative distribution okay now let's take an example now suppose that uh, average number of uh, storms uh, hitting your city or your country is like in a in a year is suppose seven so seven number of storms hits every year my city because maybe my city is on the coastal side so that's why seven number of storms are getting hit to my city question is every year question is what is the probability that next year 10 storms will hit my city or he will hit my country 
so again like average was given to you you want to determine next year like in future how many storms will get hit so average and future these two things come then Poisson distribution will help you okay now your k is 10 now i think is right so lambda is what 7 so 7 raised to 10 because our k is 10 e raised to minus 7 upon 10 factorial now i think one can easily solve this no need to i mean if you get time just you can solve you can use calculator and tell me what is the answer for the first question so here is a question a secretary makes two errors per page on an average what is the probability that on the next page he or she will make four or more errors so again the average is given to you two errors per page and probability of the next page that means future has been asked so Poisson distribution so what is your x let x be the number of errors per page now what is the question probability that x is greater or equal 4 you are making more 4 or more than 4 errors but now this is same as 1 minus probability of x is strictly less than 4 but now we are in discrete so even each point matters so this is less equal 3 so this is 1 minus probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1 plus probability x equal to 2 plus probability x equal to 3 now we open your Poisson distribution table if you have the sum table given to you, you can directly use that sum table or you find individually and add it up. So let's try to see how to solve this using the table. Okay, so here is the question for us. We need to find probability of x greater or equal 4. But we know that that is nothing but 1 minus probability of x less equal 3. Now what is this probability of x less equal 3? That means for x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2 and x equal to 3. So you need to find each of them and you have to sum it up. So either you do that individually or you can use this table. So a table will be provided to you. So now if you see this table. Now here if you observe carefully it is given to you at the top Poisson distribution x is from 0 to r. So like when your mu is 0 0.1 that means the average or the expectation of a random variable is 0 0.1, 0 0.2 up till 0 0.9 and r is taking the value from 0 to 6. Then you can use this. This is the summation. When your mu is 1, 1.52 and r is taking the value from 0 to, you can see over here 16. Then these are the values that one can use. I mean, in our case, your mean is how much? Our mean is 2. So this is the thing we have to use. And we have to go from r is from 0 to 3. So this is the entry. So summation r x is from 0 to 3, Poisson distribution with mean 2 is nothing but this 0 0.8571. It is 1 minus 0 0.8571 and if you do the subtraction you get the answer as 0 0.1429 so that's how one can use the table so whenever you want to use Poisson distribution table and always see whether this is given for the individual ones or the summation ones sometimes some people give you the Poisson distribution only for the individual not for this summation so just be careful which table has been provided to you okay so these are for mean 0 0.1 to 0 0.9, 1 to 5 and r is from 0 to 16. Then again here if you go to the next page, mean is from 5.5 to 9.5 these These are the sum that one can expect. So that's how one can use Poisson distribution table to solve these problems. And what is the B part? That no errors. That means probability that x is equal to 0. And so your k is 0 and your lambda is 2. So I think now you can easily find 2 raised to 0, e raised to minus 2 upon 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1. So I hope I used the formula correctly. But yeah, anyways, so this is how you solve this problem. So here is another example. So every month on an average, say 980 people like my videos, okay, including all the videos. So there are 980 average likes I get every month. And obviously now I would like to know that in next month, how many people will like my average? Uh, how many people will like my video? Okay. So suppose I want to know what is the probability that 1100 people will like my video. So on an average, I have average I know. In next month, that means future, I want to know what is the probability that 1100 people will like my video. Now I think you have the idea, right? This is our K and this is our lambda. You put the formula, you get the answer. What is the probability that in the next month, 700 people will like my video? So this is your k, this is your lambda, you know the formula, you put the quantities and you get the answer. 
no this can be anything like i can put this as number of subscribers to my channel or number of uh, people hitting a certain website or a certain channel so it can be anything certain blog post so yeah one can have many variations to this problem so here is the last question so the average number of oil tankers arriving each day at a certain city is 10 the facilities at a port can handle at most 15 tankers per day what is the probability that on a given day tankers will be sent away so at the most 15 tankers per day can be handled so you want to find probability that more than 15 tankers are coming then only they will be sent away right otherwise they will be accommodated not an issue but this is same as to solve 1 minus probability of x less equal 15 now what is that 1 minus summation lambda raised to k what is my lambda lambda is the average 10 10 raised to i e raised to minus i upon sorry e raised to minus lambda upon k factorial that means i factorial i is going from 0 to 15 or you can take k lambda raised to k e raised to minus lambda upon k factorial where k is going from 0 to 15 now this you can find from the table and once you have this answer you subtract it from 1 you get the final answer now in this problem mean is given to be 10 okay so we have to go to the next page where mean is 10 so here is the mean is going to be 10 and we have to take x is from 0 till 15 so it is 0.9513 for this problem it will be 1 minus 0.9513 and uh, yeah you get the answer for this so i hope you understand how to use the table so i hope the concept of poisson distribution is clear to you If yes then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you